Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new Tower 28 Beach Please Lip and Cheek Tinted Balm. And if you're interested in seeing how it swatches on me and the demo and what have you, then make sure you keep on watching. I'm gonna be showing the new shades of the Beach Please from Tower 28, the new shades that came out. All right, so I do have a little bit of complexion products on. I tried to avoid the like cheek area because if you haven't watched past videos or haven't tried tower 20 before these beach blazes are very they're very emollient they're very dewy and they don't really move they're not really a formula that i reach for immediately but i do like these new shades so i am gonna give these a try i did a kind of swatch on my arms for the three shades before the first three that came out and then on my other arm I did the new shades they're called golden hour power hour and after hours I feel like on first glance I didn't think they looked so different but they are a lot richer than the first three they're a lot more saturated so they're definitely more flattering for some with deeper skin tones I even buy skin tone and anything deeper I feel like even the orange one like I I thought this looked very similar to other shades in the first release. So this first shade is called Golden Hour. I feel like this is the best to use with your fingers. So I tend to go like around the cheekbone area and then blend it into the contour area. I did do a Tower 20 video before so if you want to see it, it's up in the cards. Now I'm gonna attempt this on my lips because you can use this on your lips. See this is just uh, a little too orange but I just want you to see. See my, my lips have been really dry so I feel like this is, this is looking more matte. I'm kind of blotting it a little bit so that you can see what it looks like. It's actually not a bad color. I won't build it up on my lips because you can see the uh, kind of tonal contrast on my skin tone. This lip color just seems like a lot. I am going to layer on a little bit more just so that you could see how it builds. And I tend to use my ring finger for this technique because I feel like this is, you know what, this is a little, this is really, really patchy. I'll attempt to put it on my nose just a little bit. I feel like on no makeup makeup days, I could be cool with this this shade. I may attempt a little bit. It's a little more on the lips just to satisfy it, but but this is a pretty flattering orange considering. Orange just isn't my cup of tea most days. It's definitely a really nice California summer shade and you can like attempt a little bit of powder on top i wouldn't do it too much i would just kind of do it uh kind of around because it will now i'm changing between colors and i can just literally wipe it off so easy which is actually nice for like more natural days that's always what i fear with this product is that it's just gonna come off as fast as I put it on. <laughs> Alright, the next shade I'm going to try is, it's called After Hours. It's like a deep um, fuchsia color. I barely used it. It still feels super brand new. The shade is <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> I feel like if you wear a little bit too much, like I just put on kind of a lot, I think it's okay because it does blend out so easily. I'm also not that dewy today. I feel like it's not that humid today. Also, I'm wearing this Aveeno sunscreen as my prep. So I don't know if that like mattified what I was doing underneath. I'm gonna take some on my crusty lips. I really like this shade. I never really wear a deep pink lip. Like I never really do the the monochromatic cheek and lip combo, but I actually really like how these look together. It's I have seen like deeper pink 
blushes like this but i like that this one is a lot more it's definitely more muted down it's a little bit more brown so it i mean like a regular bright pink would look good on most skin tones but i feel like if that's intimidating and that's too bright this one is really nice like toned down and then you could also wear this with like a nude lip liner to kind of tone it down and make it a little bit more wearable and then throw some gloss on top and you're good to go what is that i haven't really been wearing a lot of highlight because of products like these like it already has its own dewiness going on and then putting another highlight can be redundant all right and then so to wrap up this review part this is power hour it's like a burnt like a deep orange nude it's definitely a very unusual color but still reads like really really flattering I'm gonna try on the lips. You know, Rainer, it was right. This is definitely the best one out of the three. I feel like if any of the colors were to change my mind about this product, it's Power Hour. It's very wearable, it's more brown. It's definitely like in my alley, <laughs> I guess you could say. But it's super, super duper flattering. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about this texture on my lips. I'm definitely more glossy, but let me, I think I want to get a gloss and then just see what it looks like on top. So this is the Tara 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in Cashews, one of the milky shades. It definitely, that definitely turned it up. So Rainer attempt to find some dupes for some of these shades, I have a little bit of time left, so I figured I'd try it myself. This is the Freck Cheek Slime, and this is the shade Fielding. I'm trying to get it to be... Hmm. Texture-wise, it's not really the same as Golden Hour. Yeah, this one is a little bit more sheer, and it's a lot more a true orange, I feel like. She also said Storm would be a good for After Hours or Power Hour. From Glossier, I haven't used this in a minute. So that's the shade Storm. So if you already have Cloud Paint and Storm, they're definitely really close to each other. And this was my favorite uh, Cloud Paint shade. This is the Merit blush. I did a review on this recently. This can also be a Power Move shade also. Plenty to go around for Power Move. This is nearly berry, and this could be a nice dupe for for after hours. They don't look quite the same like in the pan, but swatched on, they're like pretty similar. But this one is a bit thicker than this one. I also have the Elf Putty Blush, but it's just oh Mal Maldives Maldives. I got called out for not pronouncing that correctly. Power Move shade. So this is much cheaper. I think this was like six dollars six to eight dollars actually that looks more like that i also have the cloud paint shade in eve slightly different than storm this is i think this is more purple but this could be good power another power hour but you can't use that this on your lips like the ones that i'm showing you are not lip and cheek formulas they're just for the cheeks Okay, so that is my attempt to do a quick review. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more from me. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.